Yesterday we were playing around with belly button movement, asked you guys what, uh, what was happening when you, when you took a step forward. 50% of you guys said nothing happened. Your belly button stayed pointing forwards as you took a step forward. About 33% of you guys said your button turned to the left as you put your left foot forward, so turning towards the lead leg. And then the smallest proportion, what's that, about 20 odd percent said the belly button turned away from that lead leg. So turning away, turning away, turning away like a Frankenstein walk. Uh, I've posted some photos today of athletes who are uh, orientated over the top of that lead leg with their, with their belly button. That athletic separation, so we're turning in towards the lead leg, turning in towards the lead leg. Um, some of you guys might, might not have noticed any movement because you're just you're quite stiff because you're concentrating, so maybe you just had an artificial kind of sense of what was going on. As soon as we focus on something, it changes it, doesn't it? So we're probably overthinking it, and then you probably had a kind of artificial walk going on. So maybe find some space where you can just walk around a bit, and then when you bring your mind to it, just have a sense of what the belly button's doing, so it feels a bit more organic. Uh, some of you guys, ex-military guys, obviously having a lot of movement with a pack on is just going to be super inefficient and a good way to hurt yourself. So you've probably learned to be stiff to brace that position so it probably makes sense that there's not much movement going on there but obviously running without a pack on we just want to let the body do its thing and have this spine as the engine moving from the belly button out um, yeah one of one of the ways i teach this to my students is to start with a backwards walk so just get them to Find the toes and then find the heels, so toes and heels. I don't worry about the spine to begin with, just toes, heels, toes, heels. Just get them confident and it actually takes quite a bit of confidence to sort of drop all your weight on that heel. To have that confidence to really, really drop into it. Um, <clears throat> obviously do it outside, don't do it in the gym. You'll trip over something. I know some of you guys will just ignore what I've just said there and go, yeah, I'll be all right. And then you'll get, you'll do a few steps, you'll be all right and then you'll concentrate on the belly button and you'll forget about the dumbbell or the barbell behind you so don't say i didn't warn you find a big open field uh somewhere where you you can concentrate on what the body's doing and forget about pretty much what's behind you um yeah once you've found the toe heel to heel to heel barefoot is best but anything's better than nothing don't worry about don't worry about it if you're too cold outside you need to keep your shoes on and then once I've got the toe heel thing going on, I'm just going to, now I'm going to turn. So as I step back with that right leg, I'm going to turn my belly button over the top of this knee leg. So here to here. And I'll set it much more space than I've got here. But the first couple of minutes, you're just going to be like overthinking. Just it's going to be really like feel quite mechanical. Once your body has the rhythm and the, the movement down, then you can start to let go and relax into the flick, the flow of it. But yeah, give that a go. It'll be interesting to see how you guys get on.